Hi. So congratulations. Now you have a cube which has the bottom two layers all done. Now you'll see that apart from this yellow centerpiece at the top, uh, I don't know what you have in your cube and we don't know, but there are many, many ways to get this yellow dot into ultimately a yellow cross. We're going to end up with a yellow cross. Right now, try to ignore these corner pieces. We're trying to ignore what they're doing and where they are. All we have to do is to try to get a yellow cross built on the top and that's what we're going to learn in this lesson. So, your cube can look uh, one of many, many different ways. It can look like uh, just a yellow dot like that. It can have kind of an L shape like that. It can have a, a yellow line like that. It can even already have a yellow cross like that. But in order to demonstrate uh, how we move from one stage to the other, we're going to use some Lego. So it's building time! So, we want our cube to end up looking like that, having a yellow cross on the top. And the cube can be at any one of these four stages. It can have a dot, it can have a hook, it can have a line, or it could already have a cross. And we're going to teach you an algorithm which will take you from each stage. If you repeat the algorithm as many times as you need, it'll take your cube to the yellow cross. And the algorithm actually is so simple, um, let me tell you it, it's F R U, R prime, U prime, F prime. But the way we learned it and the way we sing it is just two notes, there's no melody to it, it just goes like this. Through roof. That's what we do. We go through roof. Let's do it again. Through roof. That's what we do. So, if your cube has a dot, if you do a through roof, it'll go to there. If you do it, it'll go to there. If you do it again, it'll go to there. And to show you the different stages that it can be at, we actually need a little bit of magic. I got a wand. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, so now we have some different examples of how the cube might look when it only has one dot. It can just have a yellow in the middle. It could have Remember, we're ignoring what corner pieces are doing. So, in all of these examples, even though you see some yellow in the corner, this is kind of a cool one, like a checkered pattern one, even if you see that, what we see is that none of the cross pieces, none of the edge pieces are facing upwards. There's no yellow edge piece facing upwards, only the middle one, right? So, those are different examples of how that can look. We need some magic for the next one. Okay, um, so these are the different ways that your cube could look if you have this hook thing. And you know what? When you do this algorithm, make sure that the hook is pointing to you in that, this kind of way. In other words, that there's an edge piece on the left and an edge piece on the back. Okay? Now, these are also hooks. I don't know if this is recognized, but that one is also a hook and that one is also a hook. It's a bit messy with all these corner pieces all there, but if you can see, that one also is a hook. So in this case, you, if you see this, you're on the second stage, and you have to do the through roof algorithm one more time to get to that stage. Magic, please. Okay, so in these cases, all of these have a uh, yellow line. Okay, there's a yellow line there, a yellow line there, a yellow line there, this one may be a little bit weird to recognize, but it does have a yellow line in the center there. If you have that, then again, you hold the cube so that the yellow line is parallel to you, not up and down, but like this, and that's how you hold it to do the algorithm. To get, if you do the algorithm one more time, then you can get to here. Magic, please. Okay, so these are the cases where there is a yellow cross. Okay, this one has a yellow cross, this one has a yellow cross, 
even though that's a corner piece there. That one has a yellow cross. Obviously, that one also has a yellow cross. It's not completed, but you know, it's, uh, it's still at the yellow cross stage. Okay? Um, all right. Now, we're going to teach you how to apply the algorithm. What is the algorithm again? <laughs> to get from dot to hook to line to cross. And remember, if your cube already has a line, you only have to do through roof one time. If, you, if it only has a dot, you have to do it three times. Okay? Whichever stage you're at. So, let's go. Honey, don't know. Okay, so Chandler has set this up. That was pretty amazing. Okay, so, let's say you have a dot, okay? To move from dot to hook, you do it. Go. He did through roof, and he now ended up with a hook. Now, if you have a hook, how do you have to hold it? You have to hold the hook so that the edge pieces are on the left and the back. He's holding it in the correct way. And if he does it again, then he ends up with a line, right? And if you have a line, you hold it this way. And you do it again. And he ends up with a yellow cross. So doing that through roof, kind of doing it very, very quickly, but it's just F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. It's those six moves will move you from any stage to being able to get to the next level. And then you're done. You can move on to the next video.